Mahamano Aerospace and Research Exploration Private Limited. This is an internship program on avionics presented by Priyanka Ayali. Flight Director System. In this module, we are going to study about the introduction VGU, Attitude Director Indicator, HSI, and Mode Controller. Introduction A flight director system FDS is one in which the display of pitch and roll altitudes and the heading of the aircraft are integrated with such radio navigation system as automatic direction finding ADF very high frequency omnidirectional range VOR an instrument landing system ILS so as to perform a total directive command function it also provides for the transmission of attitude and navigational data to an AFCS so that in the combination they can operate as an effective flight guidance system. Observe the picture given in this slide. Vertical Gyroscope Unit This unit performs the same function as a gyro horizon that is, it establishes a stabilized reference about the pitch and roll axis of an aircraft. Instead, however, of providing attitude display by direct means, it is designed to operate a synchro system that produces and transmits attitude-related signals to a computer, sometimes referred to as steering computer and an amplifier unit. After processing and amplification, the signals are then transmitted to servo-operated indicating elements within a separate attitude director indicator ADI. The synchro system also supplies attitude related signals to the appropriate control channels of the AFCS. The gyroscope and its leveling switch and torque motor system are basically the same as that adopted in electrically operated gyro horizons. The synchro system referred to earlier senses changes in the pitch and roll attitude by the means of the CX synchro position on each corresponding axis of the gyroscopic gimbal system. The stator of the roll synchro is secured to the frame of the unit while its rotor is secured to the outer gimbal ring. The pitch synchro has its stator secured to outer gimbal ring and its rotor secured to the inner gimbal ring. The stator supply attitude error signals to corresponding CT synchro in the ADI and also to the pitch and roll circuit modules of the compute. Computer this unit contains all the solid state circuit module boards or cards necessary for the processing of attitude reference and command signals. Logic circuit boards are also provided for the purpose of adjusting the scaling and gain values of the signals appropriate to the type of FDS and aircraft in which it is installed. In many cases, it is usual for the status code number to be coated on the front panel of the computer. This number relates to the required pre-adjusted scaling and gains value which are listed in the form of charts in maintenance and overhaul manuals. Instrument Amplitude The primary function of this unit is to convert the attitude reference and command signals supplied to it by the computer into a servo actuating power signals for driving the display elements of the FDS indicators. Like the computer, all circuits are of the solid state type contained on plug-in type module boards or the cards. Attitude Director Indicator This indicator, like the gyro horizon, basically resembles provides information on an aircraft's pitch and roll attitude. In addition, however, it provides attitude commands and information related to aircraft's position with respect to the glide slopes GS and the localizer LOC beams transmitted by an ILS. A series of warning flaps are also provided and in a ball tube indicator provides an indication of the slip during the turn. The symbol representing the aircraft is fixed and is referenced against a moving sky or ground background taping on which presented a horizontal line and marking spaced at a specified number of degrees to indicate pitch up and pitch down attitudes. The tape is positioned around two rollers on which being driven by the servo motor and gear train move the tape up and down as appropriate to the pitch attitude change. The servo motor is activated by amplified signals from a CT synchro connected to the pitch CX synchro of the VGU and its direction of rotation is determined by the phase relationship between CX synchro error signal voltage and the servo motor excitation voltage. 
The GS pointer and scale come into view when the FDS is operating in the GS mode and when there is a validation and reliable signal from the VHF navigation receiver. At touchdown, this rising runway symbol as it is called that just touches the fixed aircraft symbol. At all other times, it is covered by a red warning flag controlled through the circuit signal. The LOC pointer and scale are normally covered by a shutter which is retracted when valid and reliable signals are supplied during the VOR LOC mode of operation of the FDS. Two further red flag warnings are provided, one play card, gyro and other computer. The gyro flag is controlled by a monitoring circuit within the VGU and warns the loss of power to this unit and any failures occurring in the attitude reference circuit. The computer flag and monitor warns of failures inputs to the computer itself and instrument amplifier and the ADI. Operation As far as the aircraft attitudes are concerned, the ADI displays the information in two ways. One, as the primary attitude reference and two, as the command attitude change. Horizontal Situation Indicator HSI this indicator derives its name from the fact that it displays presents a pictorial plan view of an aircraft situation in the horizontal plane in the form of its heading, VOR LOC deviation and data relating to the flight to and from a VOR station. In addition, it displays deviation from the GS beam and the distance from a distance measuring equipment DME station. The aircraft symbol is fixed at the center of the display and it indicates the position of the heading to an aircraft relation in the compass card and the VOR LOC deviation bar. This bar is also sometimes called as the lateral deviation bar. Selector knobs at the bottom corners of the indicator permit the setting of the desired magnetic heading and a VOR LOC course. Heading Display the primary display element of the indicator is related to an aircraft's magnetic heading and so it is integrated with a magnetic heading reference system MHRS. In the aircraft equipped with an internal navigation system INS, the indicator is also integrated with the computer of that system so that it can be selected to display either true heading or the magnetic heading. Mode Controller provides three principal control functions, mode selection, altitude hold and the manual pitch command. Mode selection is done by means of a rotary selector switch which can be manually placed in an indicated positions. In all positions except GA go around, a pin drops into a detent to maintain the switch in position. GA causes the ADI command bars to display a pitch up command and a wings level altitude. Off disables the pitch and roll outputs from the computer causing the ADI command bars to be deflected out of view. HDG allows the selection of magnetic heading which is, as indicated earlier, is done by the means of the selector knob on the HSI. While in this mode, the computer pitch channel can be operated in the manual pitch mode by means of the pitch command selector or on the alt hold mode by the attitude command signals generated and supplied by an ADC. VOR or LOC allows selection of the VOR radial and localizer beam for lateral guidance so that the input command signals can be produced in the manner already described. The pitch channel of the commu the pitch channel of the computer can be operated in either the manual pitch mode or the alt hold mode. Auto APPR this allows the use of the ILS beam LOC and GS for the lateral and vertical guidance during an automatic approach. In the roll channel, the input commands are LOC deviation, course error and roll attitude. The pitch channel is also armed for the capture of GS beam. Before capturing this beam, however, the pitch channel can be operated in the manual pitch or alt hold modes. At the GS capture, both these modes are automatically cancelled and pitch command signals are generated within the computer by combination of GS deviation and pitch attitude signals. MAN or GS This mode is used for use under three different conditions. The first one is to establish a fixed intercept angle of either a VOR or LOC beam. To force a GS beam capture condition when making an approach that is above the beam and to force a LOC GS beam capture condition if it is known that the beam sensing circuits of the computer are inoperative. 
go around switches when an automatic approach has to be aborted engine thrust has to be increased in order to climb the aircraft into what is termed as go around maneuver the fts also has to go into the ga mode of operation and this is done by switches one for each pilot's fts located on the engine power levers the switches are of the momentary press type so that they can be conveniently operated by the palm of the hand as the power levers are pushed forward closing of the switches can cause the mode selector switches on the mode control panels to move the ga position from either the auto appr position or man gs position whichever mode was in the operation at the time this action places the computer in the ga mode and then it provides preset bias signals to each pilot's adi causing the command bars to deflect to a pitch up and wings level command position the amount of command bias required varies between different types of aircrafts and their flight characteristics the operation of the annunciator panel lights is as follows hdg the comparator supplies 26 volt ac excitation to differential resolver synchro in the captain's hsi and adi The captain's HSI transmits heading signals to the first officer's HSI. If the positions of the compass cards in both indicators do not agree, the first officer's HSI transmits an error signal to the comparator. This in turn produces a signal to illuminate the HDG lights on both the annunciator panels. Roll. The captain's ADI transmits roll attitude signals to the first officer's ADI. If the attitude indications do not agree the later ADI transmits an error to the comparator so the produces signal to eliminate the roll lights on both the annunciator panels since a roll attitude change initiates a change in heading a separate roll attitude signal input is supplied to the comparator to modify the threshold at which the comparison between heading indication operates the greater the roll angle the larger heading threshold This helps to reduce nuisance warnings due to like for example the precision of an MHRS directional gyroscopic unit and system tracking during maneuvering of an aircraft the pitch this is illuminated in a similar manner to that for a roll loc illumination of this light occurs whenever ils localizer or vor deviation signals from the navigation receivers do not agree a 28 volt del ILS signal is also supplied to the comparator by the receiver in order to activate the comparison between deviation signals GS the light is illuminated whenever ILS glide slope deviation signals from the navigation receivers are not in the agreement in addition to the 28 volt ILS signal noted above the GS flag signal is supplied from both receivers to activate the comparison between GS deviation signals ALT This light is illuminated whenever the attitude signals from a dual audio ALT this light is illuminated whenever the altitude signals from dual radio altimeter transmitter receivers do not agree if the excitation voltage from the comparator unit is lost the HDG roll and pitch annunciator lights may also illuminate simultaneously in such a case the comparison between the signals from the reference sources is of course unreliable